treason from within, the Russian attacks on America. My blessed child, I am your father Yahweh, Yeh Jehovah, Most High God. My blessed child, the alarm bells are sounding for this nation. Very great alarm bells. And you, as a nation, are sleeping. For a Trojan horse has entered into this nation. You have widely opened your gates, and the Trojan horse has entered in. While you, as a nation, slept, they worked, and still you are in the dark about their works. What is this Trojan horse, and who are these, who have entered into your gates, whose works will have remained hidden? I tell you that this Trojan horse is the Russian operation, in your nation. Their true intents and purposes have remained hidden from you, the masses. And their works have been in the dark, and sadly for you, as a nation, the leader of this nation bowed to them. He broke to their demands and he opened wide the doors of your nation to these infiltrators. Do not be naive. The Russians, who supposedly came in four joint military exercises, have not left, and their joint experiences have all been terminated, except for some very few. Now, their experiences are known primarily to themselves, and to a very few at the highest levels of your government. For, their collaborative efforts are to keep in power the one who is in power over this nation. And their combined schemes are to destroy this nation and to put it totally into the hands of your enemies. Do not believe that the Russian troops have left. They have only gone underground. You will see more underground nuclear explosions, like the underground explosion, which was reported in and around the Indiana-Michigan area. You have also seen that this nuclear explosion and its radioactivity were immediately covered up. For, when the Russians came, they brought nuclear devices. Why would the Russians need to bring warplanes into this nation? And why would you, as a nation, allow even one of their warplanes to come into your nation? When the Russians came, they brought nuclear devices. They brought explosive devices, and they intend to set off the New Madrid Fault. They are viciously attacking the New Madrid Fault Zone with both nuclear devices and with their terrible weapons which are known to cause earthquakes. They have also been busy setting fires, and they plan to blow up nuclear power plants and to destroy dams. They have been allowed into this nation for the sole purposes of destabilizing this nation. You will not recognize these Russian infiltrators. Their mannerisms and their trading have been perfected so that they will neither be recognized nor suspected as foreign. They are on your streets, in your tunnels, in your cities, in your subways, and in your countryside, and they have been brought in, brought into your nation by a few at the very top of this nation, particularly by your president. For, he will use their instabilities, to get his iron grip, on your nation. And, he will use their money, to keep his place. Soon, devastating explosions will rip this nation from one end to the other. You opened up and you allow these troops and these many explosions to be brought in through Russian aircraft and vehicles. The plot is from within and the great treason is from within this nation. I am showing you their works. I am not just telling you their plans, for their plans will come to pass in great measure. I am showing you their works, fires in New Mexico, fires in Colorado, nuclear explosions and various kinds of attacks on the New Madrid fault lines. But, among their plans are planned attacks on your nuclear power plants, planned attacks on your dams and bridges, fires, fires all across this nation, many fires, and explosions, and the planned release of poisonous gases. Yes, they plan to release the poisonous gases, and soon. Now, you see. Now, you know. There is a president in this nation, who is a true Russian intelligence agent. He is one among them, and he has been one among them for most of his adult life. Will one change the feathers of a bird? And will this bird easily give up his power? He will not, for his controllers will not. And his controllers are not just the Russians, but, as you know, his controllers also control the world's wealth. Therefore, he will do, as he is told to do, for he is Satan's front-runner, who controls the military and who will also bring this nation to its knees through the violence of this Trojan horse, and also through the violence of the international banking cartel. I tell you these important truths. For, soon, 
Very soon, the poisonous gases will fill the skies and fires of all sorts will erupt all over this nation. Fires and explosions and a very great destabilization of the new Madrid fault will take place. And you shall hear. Chicago has fallen. Chicago has fallen. Chicago has fallen, and so great are the numbers of the dead. For Chicago has fallen, and the city is broken, clean broken down. For a very great earthquake will rip through Chicago. Hear me in this. The plans of their great works are to rupture the Great Lakes. See their evil works. See what they do. For in this way Chicago shall fall. I am your father, Yahweh, Yeh Jehovah, Most High God. As witnessed, dictated and recorded this ninth day of June, 2012. Linda Newkirk